seconds to keep following behind her. Greetings, my name is Richard Bauer, and today I have the privilege of introducing to you someone I know quite well, my daughter, Emily Bauer. Over the years, I've watched Emily's growth with amazement uh, and great pride. Before Emily's involvement with Special Olympics, she was a shy and reserved young lady. After being involved with Sober, she has developed self-confidence and been come quite confident in telling her story to both strangers and two friends. The thing Emily is most proud about is being a Special Olympic athlete. When COVID caused the cancellation of the Summer Games last year, Emily, like all other athletes, was disappointed. She quickly transitioned into becoming involved in the fitness activities. Countless times I was approached in my own neighborhood by people that I knew and some that I did not that would tell me how proud they were with Emily's virtual fitness activities. They could even tell me how many miles she had walked that week. How did they know? They knew because Emily told them. Emily is quite proud to be a Special Olympic athlete and willing to share her story and share the story of Special Olympics to everybody that she comes in contact with. She's proud of her involvement in organizations. She's always eager to participate in all the activities and so at this time, I'd like to introduce to you my daughter and my special Olympic athlete, Emily Bauer. Hello. When I first started working at Special Olympics Virginia almost 10 years ago, I didn't participate in any sports. Um, in year four, things started to change for me. That was the year I became a global messenger, which allowed me to get to know other athletes, learning more and more about their stories of how they became great athletes and inspired me to think about choosing a sport. Two years later, in 2017, I completed my medical form so I could be an athlete in swimming. In 2019, I started swimming with Area 31, and I made a lot of friends there. When I found out that I was going to swim in the Summer Games that year, I was excited and a little nervous. The first Summer Games was a dream come true. I remember when I swam my first 25 freestyle race, I got to the end of that pool and was wondering, how I did when I actually won. That felt really good to, to know that all the effort I put in had allowed me to succeed. Dad said I swam so fast in that race I was like a blue streak. I feel like the start of my swimming as an athlete was a real success and just made me love swimming so much more than I ever thought was possible. More recently, because of COVID-19, we had to pause our in-person activity and competitions. I really missed being able to get together with my swim team and just enjoy being with everyone. But I didn't let the pandemic ruin things. When SOVA started their virtual fitness program to keep their athletes active, I took that time to expand my fitness abilities. 
The first thing I taught myself was how to do a 60 second plank. That felt really good to learn something new. And that was just the beginning. Special Olympics soon launched the School of Strength workout videos and I jumped at the opportunity to learn some new skills. In 2020, the torch run also went virtual because we couldn't be together in person yet. And I walked over 20 miles during torch one week. In the fall, Sova gave us the fall fitness combine and that was really awesome. While I was doing this, I also was participating in the virtual plane pull and the Sona Stride Challenge. I also competed in the 2021 Winter Combine and the Sona Move Challenge. The amount of miles I walked in both the Sona Challenges was 340 miles. That was a lot of walking for me. In fact, I uh, even went down a pant size for walk, all the walking and exercising I did. Special Olympics is so important for people like me because it gives us the confidence to do things that others think we can't do. I am so proud of everything I have done because it has made me stronger and has taught me important skills in the process. And I couldn't picture my life without it. Hello, Special Olympics family. Athletes, we know that all of you want to come back onto the playing field as soon as possible. So look, the best thing that will help us all get back on the playing field quickly is to get vaccinated. We have been working to help you connect with local providers like Walgreens and, and Bright Aid, and we will continue to do that. You can virtually now get vaccinated anywhere in your communities and do so. Volunteers, parents, everybody, get the vaccine, that will bring us all back together quicker than anything. Athletes, keep doing the fitness. We have seen you doing the fall fitness combine, the virtual fitness, the fitness challenges that are being run uh, both in the fall and in the spring. Keep doing those. We have seen many of you improve your performance by 45%, which qualifies you for the gold medal. That's a phenomenal percentage of increase of performance. Keep doing that because the better you perform on the playing field, the better you will perform in the other aspects of your life, whether it be school, whether it be community. We have seen your weight loss stories. We have seen stories about your blood pressure coming down. We have seen stories about uh, your cardiovascular ability. I could only walk one mile, now I can walk three miles. I could only run 500 yards, now I can run a, a 2K. Keep doing these things. These are extremely important. And keep doing the other things that we have also put forth on the virtual Facebook fitness page. Keep hydrating. Drink as much water as you possibly can, especially now as you're moving into the summer months and back onto the playing field outside. And keep eating right. Those are two of the best things that you can do. Eat right and hydrate. We want you back on the playing field as soon as we can get you there and all of these things will get you back on the playing field. To our athletes in the school programs, we have seen you doing the young athlete programs all over. We have seen you doing the virtual fitness in the schools. We have sent over 550 fitness kits to individual student athletes all over. And we want you to use those, not just right now, but into the future. And we want you to know that there are other things that are part of the Unified Champion School program, the Youth Leadership Program. Recently, we did a great Youth Leadership Summit with youth leaders, both athletes with intellectual disabilities and athletes without, all together in leadership capabilities, talking about leadership and discussing it. It was phenomenal. Keep doing these things. And remember, school athletes, next June, we will be having a USA Games in Orlando, Florida. And for the first time, we will be taking a Unified Champion Schools track and field teams, eight athletes going to Orlando to compete in track and field and represent Special Olympics Virginia. So school athletes, way to go 
keep doing it, and we look back to doing stuff face-to-face and live when you get back into school in the fall. Parents, you're the real heroes of Special Olympics. You know, some of us do this as a job. A lot of folks volunteer and coach, but you're the parents, you're the caregivers, you're the 24-7 people who take care of our athletes. We want all of our athletes to come back and get back and be face-to-face. We want them to continue to do the fitness, and I want to remind you, that the risk factors, whether we're in the COVID environment or not, are very, very extreme for our athletes. Two times more likely to face obesity or weight issues. Two times more likely to face cardiovascular and respiratory issues. Five times more likely to contract diabetes, and the lifespan is 16 years uh, less than a person without intellectual disabilities. I want all of you parents to know this, because keeping your athletes engaged in the fitness part of our program is very important and keeping them engaged in the face-to-face aspect of our program is very important but the fitness even after we're back face-to-face will help you combat those statistics it will help your child our athletes combat those statistics it will make everybody healthier so face-to-face and fitness combined is how we get a better athlete better health better on and off the playing field volunteers You're the best. We miss you. We have been a long time since we've seen each other, but we're beginning to see you now. I have seen some of you at special events. I have seen some of you at summer series events. It's important now for us all to get our athletes back out and on the playing field and face to face. I have told people for a year that our athletes knew social distance and isolation way before anyone else did. And now everyone has a glimpse into how our athletes have lived their lives. But it's time for them to get back out. And coaches, volunteers, they need your help. Now is the time to get back out. And we lit this cauldron today. Why did we light light it? We lit it for two reasons. We lit it to celebrate our accomplishments. Those of you who have done the fitness combine, gotten the 45% or the 30% increase in your performance that have gotten you gold or silver medals, we have done the fitness challenge. Those of you have been recognized either in the, in the, in the uh, distance challenge in the fall or the move challenge in the spring. We have done all of these things and we just want to celebrate the fact that we have all gotten through this last year of COVID-19 and we're looking to open back up and get back to seeing each other face to face, high fives and fist bumps all around. We're also lighting this cauldron so that we can look ahead. We can look ahead at the summer series where you can play bocce, flag football, softball, where you can run track and field, where swimming. On June the 1st, we reopened up uh, the protocol for indoor swimming practice. And then we've always got the fitness. Do all of these things because that's what we're getting back to. We hope to have the fall season like we normally see it. We hope to have fall championships and we all be down in Virginia Beach together celebrating that. So we're looking ahead to that. And we're also looking ahead to selecting this summer and in the fall, our athletes who will go to the USA Games in Orlando. So that when you win a gold medal at Special Olympics and people say to you, hey, you won a gold medal at Special Olympics, what are you gonna do now? You can say the same thing that Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady say, I'm going to Disney World. That's what we want everybody to be back for. All of the stuff like we normally do it, all of the activity like we normally do it. So get vaccinated, keep working, get back face to face, and be brave in the attempt, and we will see you soon.